Sam Bakeman Freed is becoming a League of Legends champion in jail and so much more, guys. We're going to get straight into it, right to the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now is sitting at $16,800. And today is Wednesday, which means the markets were open today. Obviously, crypto trades 24-7, seven days a week, so that's open. But the stock market was open. And yeah, let's, let's take a look at the stock market real quick. Stock market had a pretty good day, you know, up 1.49%. But yeah, just a little dead cat bounce. Into our first story of the day. Tesla freezes hiring and warns employees of layoffs next quarter. Guys, layoffs are coming. We've seen layoffs come across all the tech sectors, but not all the tech sectors, the tech sector, but a general across the board, we're going to be seeing, seeing layoffs everywhere. And this is because the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise rates to meet that 2% inflation pinpoint that they're trying to get to. And to be real, yeah, this is going to cause a lot of layoffs. And the Fed's main priority right now is getting inflation down. They don't really give a fuck about the unemployment rate. So things are going to get very interesting. And take a look at our next story. Bitcoin mining giant Core Scientific to file for bankruptcy. And they have made it um, public that they are going to keep mining Bitcoin. But at the same time, you guys got to understand, you know, the Bitcoin mining industry has gotten completely crushed this year. But at the same time, you know, there is that there is a massive, massive amount of upside right now. And let's take a look at the stocks. Like we're talking about Tesla going down, all these stocks going down, Meta going down, Amazon recently has just been going down. Let's take a look at this. Amazon, absolutely beaten down. Meta, absolutely beaten down. Let's take a riot blockchain, absolutely beaten down. Coinbase, absolutely beaten down. Could they go down more? Probably. But look at this. This is the time, not financial advice, but this is the time you really want to get in. Like, are you serious? Take a look at these levels right now for Meta, Shopify. Like, I don't know what to say here. At the end of the day, the general population, retail, whatever, most people have their backs completely turned on tech right now, completely turned on crypto, when in fact, it's the exact time you should be doubling down. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Take Like Bitcoin, like these are extremely low levels. And do what you want with that information. Into our next story, home sales have tumbled more than 7% in November, the 10th straight month of declines. Yes, guys, the housing market is going to come down just like pretty much everything else. And we saw the stock market come down. We saw crypto come down. The housing market is next. Houses have already come down, but they're going to come down some more. Just watch. And then take a look at this. Sam Bacon Freed is now in U.S. custody. Now, the thing is, according to BitBoy Crypto, Sam was actually begging to come back to the U.S. Because honestly, he'll probably get a better deal in jail in the U.S. than he would in the Bahamas. Um, the Bahamas jails are way worse. The U.S. obviously has quality prisons. And then take a look at this. It was, it was released that uh, Sam Pinkman Freed's prison perks include cable TV, air conditioning, and vegan food, and probably a lot more that we just don't know about. So it turns out that Sam Pinkman Freed is still a League of Legends champion in jail. It really just goes to show, like, how much different is Sam's life in jail compared to his old life? I mean, yeah, he can't really go outside, but, like, he was kind of sitting inside the whole time anyways. So it's basically his same old life, except he's not DJ and gambling. Like, he's probably going to be on League of Legends in jail. And people might think that's funny and like, oh, ha, ha, ha. But, like, it's probably true. What the fuck is going to change for Sam? He literally gets to choose his food in jail. I mean, that's pretty elite. And the reality is, is are they going to give him a tough time in jail? Probably not. You got to remember, he's buddies with all these people. We're at the, they're at the point now where they're like, Sam, you've really fucked up. We, can't, we, don't, we really can't get you out of this one. But, you know, we're going to make it quality for you. But we really can't do anything right now. And that's the point where he's gone to. And yeah, not really has happened too much over these last couple of days. It's been pretty slow, but remember to keep grinding everyone through this bear market because eventually the tide will turn. And that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And go follow me on Twitter. I'm dropping hella heat on Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching the video.